Why is it that the low strings on a guitar have this extra layer of metal wrapped around them when the top strings are left plain? Well, if you want to reduce the pitch of a string, you've got three variables to play with. Well, the first is you can make the string longer, and that works great on something like the harp, but it's not really an option on the guitar. You've got a fixed scale length across all the strings. Option number two is you can reduce the tension of the strings, but you do that too much and the strings start to get a bit too floppy to play comfortably and to sound good. Option number three is you change the weight of the string, what we call mass per unit length. That just means how heavy it would one meter of this string be. But if you just keep making thicker and thicker plain steel strings, Eventually they get a bit too thick to be as flexible as you'd want them to be. They'll be difficult to play and they wouldn't sound very good. So the compromise here is the wound string. The way this works on a guitar is you take a relatively thin plain steel inner core, so that's similar to the top strings on a guitar, and then you wrap it in bronze or nickel or brass or whatever your preferred material is. And winding this extra layer of metal around increases the mass per unit length, so it decreases the pitch of the string, but allows it to keep its flexibility. If you imagine the old slinky toy, it works a lot like that. The coil shape is perfectly designed to be really flexible. And this just means you can get away with much heavier strings without the downsides that come along with a thick plain steel string.